Hello friends, this video on Organic Industry Basic Part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we start our chapter with the reaction mechanism. What is the reaction mechanism? So in organic chemistry, when you react something, this is called substrate actually. Here ROX is substrate. When you react this with a nucleophile, nucleophile is something or electrophile is attacking reagent. These are attacking reagent which attack on the substrate and then if you see something goes off. This is my leaving group. So if you see here ROX was my substrate and then it becomes RONUC. So what happened was this nucleophile displaced this X. So in a typical reaction we have and this is my intermediate action. This is my final product. This is my final product. This is my intermediate. Correct. This happens for a very small fraction, very in uh, maybe not even in seconds, very, very small fraction of time. Very small fraction of time. Right? But this happens. This this state, state number two exists, and this is called intermediate. This is a negative, so it's common ion. So here we have something on which we add attacking reagent and this is called substrate, the main compound. Then we have attacking reagent, can be a nucleophile or electrophile, we'll study more on this. And then what you get is the intermediate for some fraction of seconds and then you get the final product and sometimes you get byproduct also. And the whole thing happens in a solvent, you know, solvent. This is a typical reaction mechanism for organic chemistry. So we have we have learned so many new different words, substrate, attacking reagent, then we have intermediate, then we have living group, then we have solvent, then we have final product. So let's try to understand the reaction mechanism in detail. So the same reaction I have taken. So the first thing I told you was the substrate. So this part is my substrate, right? And then I told you something called attacking reagent. There are two dif uh, three different types of attacking reagent. The first is the nucleophiles, the one they love nucleus. Then we have electrophiles, the one which loves el electrons. And then we have something called free radicals, the one which doesn't care. They have just uh, one electron. They don't care. And then we have a leaving group. As I told here, this is my leaving group. Right? And this was my attacking region. Correct. And we have a bond cleavage. So if you see here also, a bond is broken. This bond is broken actually. You see, right? This bond is broken. There's a carbon here. The CX bond is broken and CNU bond is formed, right? So we will study more about the blonde cleavage in different type of bond cleavage. So we have something called homolytic cleavage and we have something called heterolytic cleavage. We will discuss more about this. Uh, then we have something called intermediate which happens for a very small fraction but it happens. So this is a uh, intermediate here, this guy, my intermediate. And then we have in intermediate we have carbocations, carbon ions, this guy is an ion because of negative charge. And then we have free radicals also as part of the intermediate. Carbines are also one type of intermediate. And then we have products. This is my product. Right? And then we have byproduct. In this case, there is no byproduct. And then we have solvent. The whole reaction happens in some solvent, sometimes polar, sometimes uh, uh, non-polar. So we'll, we'll talk about solvents also. And the two types of solvent we'll talk about is protic and aprotic. So if you see here, so the reaction, a typical organic reaction has these many things: a substrate, a nucleophile which attacks or attacking reagent will attack. Then there's something called leaving group which leaves. There's a bond cleavage that happens, the bond breaks, and new bonds are formed. There's intermediate that happens for a small fraction of time, but this plays a critical role in determining which product you'll get. And the byproduct, and the whole thing happens in the solvent. So we have solvent, protic, and aprotic. So let's start. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.